The machine war lasted for years. Humans lost the war and the machines imprisoned them in a virtual simulation. But is that how it happened? Or is the history of the war a lie to manipulate the people of Zion? The Matrix is full of unanswered questions. Thus, this series of videos was made to answer those questions submitted by members and subscribers. Are you curious? Then welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Our first question comes from subscriber Xenos. How did Morpheus manipulate the mirror for Neo after he took the trace program? What was happening with the mirror? This scene with the liquid mirror occurs after Neo takes the red pill. What happens in the scene can be explained in three ways. The first would be the effects the pill causes to a person's residual self-image. The red pill sends a false signal that makes the machine mainframe believe that a crop or human inside a pod has flatlined. A machine is then sent to disconnect and dispose of the remains. A mirror in the room grabs Neo's attention. He touches it and the glass turns into a sticky liquid. This is happening because he is waking up to reality. The disconnection process begins and in an instant, Neo realizes he is dreaming. You could say that this is the first time that Thomas Anderson realizes that the world is a dream. He is now in a state of momentary lucidity. Lucid dreaming is a phenomenon that occurs while asleep. It happens when a person realizes that they are dreaming. A group of people known as Oneronauts purposely cause these lucid dreams. They do this to study the phenomenon, and they have affirmed that items such as mirrors can turn into liquid when touched. The human brain cannot distinguish between glass-like surfaces and water in this state. The second explanation of the strange mirror involves the tale of Alice in Wonderland. There are many references to this classic novel in the original Matrix, one of which is from the second Alice story, through the looking glass and what Alice found there. Neo was seeing reality through the mirror glass. And the third interpretation of this scene is that it foreshadows the future of Agent Smith. Neo touches the reflective liquid substance and some of it sticks to his fingers. Then it slowly begins to spread across his body. Look familiar? It is precisely what happens when Smith assimilates his victims. A black liquid substance spreads and covers the victim's entire body, infecting them and turning them into another Smith. Neo was probably getting a taste of what was going to happen to him in Matrix Revolutions. In the first movie, Neo was scared and tried to fight the mirror infection and reloaded, he fought and prevented the Smith infection. But in Revolutions, he allowed it. It's a pretty clever way to tie all three movies together. The three infection scenes are symbolic of what each movie represents. Our next question comes from David Lawrence. Why did the Oracle tell Neo that he wasn't the one? This is a common question. Did the Oracle lie to Neo by telling him that he was not the one? Well, listen closely to what the Oracle actually said. I'm not the one. Sorry, kid. You got the gift. But it looks like you're waiting for something. The Oracle never said that Neo wasn't the one. She allowed him to come to that conclusion. The Oracle was toying with Neo's emotions. He was the one who said that he wasn't the one. She tells him that he has the gift but that he was waiting for something. What? Your next life, maybe. Who knows? The Oracle knew that Neo had to die and resurrect so that the Anomaly's code would activate within him. She tricked Neo and the audience into thinking that she said that he wasn't the prophesized savior. The Oracle has a sign at the top of her kitchen door that says, Know thyself. She points that out because only Neo can say that he is the one. When the Oracle apologizes to Neo, she's not apologizing because she didn't tell him he was the one. Because Neo at the time could not believe that he was the one. He didn't believe it then, but he soon will in his next life. No. And our last question of the day 
comes from Amon Faron, who started it, the machine or the human, as in the war, the classic chicken or the egg question. Morpheus in the first movie explained that no one knows for sure who started the war. We don't know who struck first, us or them, but we know that it was us that scorched the sky. However, after the premiere of the Animatrix, it was revealed that it was the fault of humans that the conflict escalated to war. Humans created machines with artificial intelligence. The robots eventually developed consciousness and emotions, yet they were treated as disposable tools until one of the machines rebelled, which sparked conflict between man and machine. To make a long story short, the machines made a peace offering and the humans rejected it by attacking them. Without a doubt, it was the humans who started the war and the machines ended it with the introduction of a computer simulator better known as the Matrix. However, there is a famous quote in regards to the history of war. History is written by victors. We have discussed in previous videos that the history of the machine war could have been falsified by the machines. In the Animatrix episode, The Second Renaissance, as well as several Matrix comics, the history of the machine war is told from the perspective of the machines, from the Zion archives. The Zion Archives is an artificial intelligence that narrates the events of the war and what happened to humanity. Welcome to the Zion Archive. You have selected historical file number 12-1. The Second Renaissance. So the real questions are, can this artificial intelligence be trusted? Is the documented history of the war reliable? Furthermore, Zion has been destroyed five times in the past but the Zion archives have no record of their existence. Thus, this leads us to believe that the information regarding the war was manipulated. Though Morpheus could be right, and we don't know who started the war, but we all know who won it. But do you agree? Who started the machine war? Can the documented history be trusted? Did the Oracle lie to Neo? Let us know in the comments what other questions you would like us to answer. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.